and usually when you do naming ceremonies, it does take, sometimes it comes, and sometimes it takes time, sometimes it takes a year, two years, sometimes it takes a long time. But when he called me and, and told me that I'd be doing the naming ceremony of the statue, it came to me within a, a flash of what he was to be. And, and I knew that he, that he is now, he is now going to be representing a lot. That means gathering the people back. And the more that we have things that represents the Aboriginal people, our people, the Anishinaabe people in the nation's capital, the more, in a very positive way, the more that we will be, the people will know who we were and how who we are. And the more that we will gain gains and our children and the future generation of our children will be proud and they will stand with their heads up. And that's who we were. The Anishinaabe people from here, the Algonquin as we call us today on the territory, we were very proud. The Algonquin nation was a proud nation. And with all what had happened to us, we, we lost a lot. But now it is time for us to regain and to rebuild and to build our proudness and to be proud again. And we must show the children all the good stuff, the nice stuff, the positive stuff, so that they will be proud of who they are. He's going to have a name. Kijizi B. Oma Winini Anishinaabe. That's going to be his new name. When Champlain came here, and that means that is our nation, that is who we are. And when Champlain came, he called he called us Al Gumokin. And then after eventually it was changed to Algonquin. But it the real our real nation's name is the one he's gonna carry to bring back the old traditional way. However, my people and my ancestors traveled the lower the lower river here. Gijizibi. Gijizibi Ma Wi Nini Anishnabe. That's his name. And I'm honored to bring back our cultural, ancestral tribe name. Miigwech. Miigwech. Miigwech.